Hey friends, short video today on thermal fuses. So first of all, fuse just like uh, the box in your vehicle that has a bunch of different fuses in them. Uh, each fuse for each individual circuit. And they're meant to interrupt the circuit if there's a overload on amperage. And that's used to prevent um, further damage of other components or anything harmful. Um, the same way a thermal fuse Instead of it being an overcharge and current, it's meant to interrupt the circuit if there is a uh, surge in temperature above the standard of whatever the fuse is set for. Uh, these are most popular in dryers. I'm going to show you how to test them. Um, there's nothing to it really. All it is is it's supposed to act like a, a solid wire. So we can use a diode resistance to test. In this case, it has a beep on my multimeter. Let's just know if there's a full current. And just by touching the two leads, in this case, there's no um, current going through. So uh, this is a bad uh, thermal fuse. And it doesn't matter which leads touch, there's no readings or no uh, beep coming through. This is a bad thermal fuse that I've just removed from the dryer. My leads are touching. Here's a new fuse that I just received. And if I go to touch the two leads, it's hard to do this while holding the camera, but um, you get the point. It doesn't matter. But with this bi directional, so it can go either way. Um, if the dryer were to overheat, this little fuse will, it's a single use, just like those in the vehicle. Once they are broken, they you just dispose of them. They're not, you don't reset them in any way. Um, yeah, so a fuse is just a cheap and quick way to interrupt the circuit. It's a safety procedure, uh, a safety measure added to these type of electronics um, so that it'll interrupt the circuit in the event there is something uh, harmful taking place that could damage your dryer more or damage the contents or even potentially be a fire hazard this can be replaced with say complex circuitry that would just not complex but that would just cut off the entire system but this is just a simple fail safe measure that is added on um, to the circuit in the back so we're going to go ahead and replace this and important thing about fuses and almost any application, whether it be a vehicle or in this case, the dryer or even TVs and power supplies, um, rarely do they, uh, do they interrupt the circuit? Uh, rarely do they fail. Um, if, if, uh, if it's broken, it's broken for a reason. And so you want to find out what the culprit, what the, why, why is it, why the safety measure was engaged. Um, in this case, the dryer, these are quite standard across the different brands. Um, dryers work very similarly regardless of their brand, but um, it's building up too much heat. So first thing to check is to make sure the coil works, if there's nothing wrong with the element. And the next thing is this uh, switch. It's a thermal switch that tells the basically the computer, or in this case, just a manual switch to cut the coil on and off. So produce more heat or less heat. Um, so if the old one isn't turning off at the right timing, it could be overheating. Um, and that's prior to entering the drum of the dryer. And then as it exits the dryer, you have your lint trap and you have you, your entire exhaust system. You want to verify that nothing is clogging it up, whether it be old dust or lint or anything alike. Um, and that could be building up heat. So after I replace this switch, I'm going to run through the entire duct from this unit into the ground, into the floor, and then I'm going to go underneath the home and remove the hose there and make sure there's no piling up of any debris. Thanks for watching.